Hello and welcome back to another episode of Beers at Bill and Rod's. My name is Joe and I'm with Bill and Rod's Appliance in Livonia, Michigan today to talk to you about Lost Mines from Brewery Vivant and the Wolf IR304 PESPH. It is an induction range and this baby is a beauty. Let's talk about her. We got a height of 35 and 7 8 inches to the top here, a width of 29 and 7 8 inches and a depth of 29 and a half. On the inside we have a capacity of 4.5 cubic foot capacity. This is a slower hinge, so as it drops down, it will go a little bit slower. This beautiful blue interior um, provides an optimal cooking space. The blue has nothing to do with it, but it looks great, doesn't it? Uh, on the inside, you can do baking. You can use a baking stone, broil, convection bake, broil and roast. You can dehydrate, bread proofing, roasting, it's self cleaning, and there's a cook probe included. I mean, there's a lot you can do on the preset cooking modes um, on all your controls that just pop out nice and easy there for a good clean look. On the top, we have an induction cook surface. So you have four cooking zones on here as well. It's a 1400 watt, a 2100 watt, another 2100 watt with a 3000 3, watt booster on it and then a 2600 watt with a 3150 watt booster on there you can do some serious searing or a very low and slow simmer we put chocolate on this thing on a slow simmer and it lasted for hours not burning not scorching nothing didn't dry out it was a beautiful beautiful thing now what we have found is that you do have to have a little bit extra power in your um in your box for this it's while it is a 240 volt it's a 60 hertz connection so make sure you talk to your electrician or contractor before uh, purchasing something like this um, on the inside you do have or on the top here you do have um, two-way bridging options as well in order to use your griddle for cooking or anything like that um, and then it does have the cookware sensing guards as well so if you don't have something turned or on it in place it will not turn on that element Induction is very cool. If you want to see how it works, come in and see us. Let's first talk about this beer. Um, this is Lost Mines. It's a tart IPA. It's 7% alcohol by volume. Uh, Brewery Vivant is found in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, golden hue, clear pour on this. Looks like we are going to have a Quite the robust head on that as well uh, rocky on the top there all right so let's let's take a smell of this and see what we got through the dense head there we do still pick up uh, fresh apple tropical fruits some citrus pine resin floral and, and an, even an herby earthiness that uh, that you would get typically with an IPA The tastes do reflect the aroma. Uh, so you do get a complex flavors of apple, citrus, citrus peel, pine resin, and, and grape in there as well. Um, it's, it's a moderate dryness on the finish. It's not super dry. It just leaves your mouth feeling pretty good. Um, the, the finish, there's no warming um, from the alcohol at all. Very nice mouthfeel and is balanced with a tart, bitter, dry, um, dry finish. Uh, beautiful. IPA. If you're into IPAs, check out Lost Mines from Brewery Vivant. Uh, if you're in Livonia, you can pick it up at the Beer Baron. They've got it there. If you are looking for a new Wolf induction range, we would love to show it to you. We're at 15870 Middle Belt Road in Livonia, Michigan. Uh, see our full line at BillAndRodsApplians.com. Uh, but come in and see us. We'd love to have you. If you have a beer that you'd like me to try, leave it in the comments. Shoot me a message. I'd love to try it. If you'd love to see a new product reviewed, um, check out our website and I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to do a review on that. Let me know. Um, again, we're at 15870 Middle Belt Road in Livonia and this is Beers with Bill and Rods.